What is up guys, this is Jay here, Jay Media one and we are back with another product tech review. Today's an exciting day because we got the brand new MacBook Pro. This is awesome because this has the M1 Pro chip inside. And they made two different ones this time. They made the M1 Pro and the M1 Max. And this is just a really, really cool upgrade. The M1 Pro and the M1 Max scale the amazing M1 architecture to new heights. And for the first time, they bring a system on a chip architecture to a Pro notebook. Both have more CPU cores and more GPU cores and more unified memory than the M1. Along with a powerful neural engine for supercharged machine learning and upgraded media engines with ProRes support, the M1 Pro and the M1 Max allow pros to do things like they never could before. And today we're just going to do an unboxing. This time we got the box as it comes. And it actually has a tab on it right here. So we're going to pull the tab and get started. So we'll just pull the tab there and you can see that it already wants to pop up in the two little bifolds here so we could pull those apart and that looks cool in itself I mean this is a cool little design that they got here so these slide down and these come out and then there's the MacBook Pro so we'll get rid of that and there it is it looks super awesome nice box this is the 14 inch 16 gig 512 gig uh, SSD so this is the very base model. If you were to buy the MacBook Pro in its base form, this is what you're going to get. Uh, there's also a 16 inch model of this. So it does have the, the flap here on top. We're just going to peel that back. And this thing never goes all the way around for me, but that's okay because we're going to just peel it off here in the back, pull it out. It's got the cool picture and logo on the front, clean box. Let me just let it slide out the bottom. There it comes. Nothing on the top, so we're going to get rid of that. And we got the little flap here so we can lift it up. And it's got that clean case on it, as always. Nice little plastic here. You can just slide it right out. It's got the nice feet on the bottom. And this time it's got like a little like indention engraving where it says MacBook Pro at the bottom, which is super nice looking. We got our little flap here at the bottom. And that's going to give us a little bit of a groove so that we can open it up. Classic Apple logo. And on the side this time they brought back the MagSafe, which is fantastic. We've been waiting for that. Uh, we have two USB-C ports and we also have a headphone jack, which is good. And then they also brought back the HDMI slot. We got another USB-C and we have an SD slot this time. Fantastic. So we got some new ports back, which is great. If you look inside the box, we have the MagSafe connector. And it's just got the two flaps on the side we can peel off. And then there's the flap on the back. Take that all out of there. And the MagSafe connector is cool. It, it has a nice little braided cord here. Of course, the USB-C on one side, but this is the key here. This is the MagSafe. And it's just a tiny little guy. It looks much bigger when they present it on screen, but it's just a little guy. And it's got a little LED light here and one there and that will tell you if it's connected and ready to charge and that's just going to magnetically connect here so if we hold it close it just grabs right on and it's a pretty strong magnet and I can really pull on it before it tries to pop off and it doesn't matter the orientation either direction it should just pop in and out the greatest part about that is, is if you have somebody walking by and you're charging and they trip on this cable, it's going to pull out instead of try to rip out. Other than that, the cable's super nice. It's a braided cable. It's got a really nice fabric material around it. And it's easy to move around. It's not super stiff or anything like that. So we're just going to wrap that up for now and get it out of the way. Then we have the reading material, of course. And we have this nice big charger. This is 67 watts, which is nice. 
So this should be able to charge it nice and fast. Um, you can upgrade this charger to, I believe, 120 watts, which would be even faster. But this one should do just fine. Nothing else in the box. Just a nice, steady, sturdy box. So we're going to get rid of that. This is our reading material. It's just going to tell us all about... And there should be a couple Apple stickers inside of here as well. And that's that. So if we flip open the lid... We get this nice cover on the front and it's automatically trying to fire up. We just peel that off. And there it is, there's the display. Now it's quite different this time because the Pro used to have a touch board up top here. They got rid of that. And it's just a function row, which I would rather have anyways. The function row of keys is much better. Um, it does have the touch ID up here in the corner. And then we have our up, down, left, and right arrows down here. And this is the Magic Keyboard. It's all black. It looks really nice. Of course, Apple always does a really good job with their touch pads or their track pads. And it's nice and big and comfortable and easy to use on most of their models. There's two speakers, one here and one here. And that's it. So we're going to try to log into this, get it started. And then talk about the, while it's starting up, we could talk a, a little bit more about this. So it's supposed to have ferocious performance as far as game-changing battery life. Uh, it's efficient. Um, it's super, super easy to charge. Uh, compiles in uh, four times as much code in Xcode 19 than a normal M1. And you got to remember, you can get the, uh, the max version as well, which is an upgraded version, but the price tag is going to go quite a bit up if you do that. The MacBook Pro delivers the same amazing performance whether it's plugged in or not because of the extended battery life. Uh, the 14, mo 14 inch model which has up to 17 hours of video playback and 21 hours uh, uh, to wireless uh, web browser. The coolest part is the advanced thermal system. It's 50% more air, moves 50% more air even at lower fan speeds. And thanks to the efficiency of the Apple Silicon, the fans never turn on for many tasks you do every day. It's fast and vast. It gets jaw-dropping 7.4 gigabit read speeds from the up to 8 terabyte SSD up to five times faster than the previous generation, so you can open up 8K videos instantly or store hundreds of thousands of raw photos all at one time. It has a liquid Retina XDR. It's the best display ever featured in a notebook. It features extreme dynamic range and a million to one contrast ratio. The HDR content comes to life in photos, videos, and games with refined spectacular highlights, incredible detail, and shadows, and vibrant true-to-life colors. Each display is factory calibrated and it features pro reference modes for HDR color grading, photography, design, and print production. It's got ProMotion. ProMotion comes to the Mac for the first time, making everything from scrolling a web page to gaming super fluid and responsive, while also producing power consumption with up to refresh rates of 120 Hz. Uh, that's adaptive technology. It automatically adjusts to match the movement of the content. It's got the ProMotion video, which editors can use a fixed refresh rate that precisely aligns with their footage. Display enclosure is less than four millimeters thin. It provides a structure for the world's best notebook display. It has a thousand nits of sustained brightness, 1600 nits of peak brightness, and 10,000 mini LEDs, which gives it a million to one contrast ratio. Fantastic. Staying connected is more important than ever. That's why the new MacBook Pro camera has doubled that the resolution 1080p and uses a lens with a wider aperture that lets in more light. Together with a larger image sensor that has more efficient pixels, the camera delivers better low light performance. And that's this little guy right here. We do have a little notch inside of the camera now, which is kind of a little weird, but here's how I look at this. So in a normal display, right, you would have to have a bezel 
and the bezel would go around here and that would give you your camera. So instead of that bezel being that thick, the size of this notch, the notch is that thick, allowing the camera to fit. And then they give you a smaller bezel around the outside. So it's a really good idea and it works well. Even with the bezel there, it's fine. Uh, there's the three studio quality mics. Uh, thanks to the mics with up to 60% lower noise floor, the MacBook Pro can capture even the subtlest sounds. And the three mic array uses directional beam forming so that your voice always comes through loud and clear. It has a six speaker sound system, four force canceling woofers revealing notes up to half an octave deeper with the fill the room with up to 80% more bass. The MacBook Pro offers spatial audio when playing music or video with Dolby Atmos creating a sophisticated three dimensional sound stage. Combine that with the liquid retina XDR display and it's like having a portable theater inside of the room. More plugged in than ever, you can transfer photos and videos with an SDXC card reader, which is just a high-speed card reader this time. You can connect to TVs or displays with HDMI output. You can listen using the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that automatically adjusts for high impedance headphones, which are the good ones. You can connect to high-speed peripherals or displays with three Thunderbolt 4 ports, which we showed you, and fast charging using the quick-release MagSafe port. So not only do you get the three ports this time, but you also get the MagSafe, so you don't have to worry about charging off of one of those. You can charge and then also use the three ports. It has more pixels than ever. Uh, like I said, the three Pro Display XDRs and a 4K Max TV with the M1 Max or connect up to two Pro Display XDRs with the M1 Pro. For the first time, the Magic Keyboard brings a full height functioning key, key road to the MacBook Pro with tactile feel of mechanical keys. The pros love. It includes the new keyboard shortcuts for spotlight detection and do not disturb and it has a touch ID with a new tactile ring that guides your finger for a fast, easy, secure way to unlock your Mac. So the ring on, on the side of this actually has an indentation inside of it which you can feel and that indentation lets you put your finger exactly where it needs to go. Uh, you can use a single keyboard and a mouse or a trackpad to work seamlessly between your Mac and your iPad with universal control. Um, you have 28 automatic complex tasks with shortcuts. You can share your screen, watch together, or collaborate with FaceTime and browse with the best Safari yet. When it's time to concentrate, Focus lets you control which people and apps can reach you. And we'll have to go over the Focus feature, but it's really, really neat. It has over 10,000 apps and plugins that are already optimized for Apple Silicon and Rosetta 2 seamlessly translates apps designed for Intel processors for use on your new MacBook Pro. So you don't have to worry about if your old apps will work with the new M1. They will and they work seamlessly. The new MacBook Pro has been carefully designed with the environment in mind. The enclosure is now made with 100% recycled aluminum and they use rare earth magnets in all of the magnets in the products. The MacBook Pro is free of numerous harmful substances and virgin wood fiber and their packaging comes from responsible managed forest. Uh, the cool part about this <coughs> the enclosure is, is it's not plastic, right? So if you look at this and we try to bend it or move it, it's not going to flex. It does have these cool little vents on the back, which I just noticed. But uh, it's not going to flex. It's super strong. It feels great. It's not too heavy. It's just fantastic. So now that we went over all that, we're going to go over a few more features with you guys, and we will be right back. What is up, guys? We are back, and I just thought it would be cool to re record the ending of this on the actual MacBook Pro that we just unboxed, and this is it. This is the webcam, this is audio, this is video, this is all of it. So as you can see, the webcam on this thing is pretty good and it is capable of recording up to 4K. Um, we are going to do another review on this once we get to using it for a little while. So be sure to stay informed and stay, stay subscribed so you guys can check out that review as well. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the mash button and the subscribe button so you can stay tuned and click on the little bell that will notify you when there is new videos that are released every day. Overall guys, I would say this thing is fantastic. 
the key tech specs and the features we went over. Uh, the liquid retina display is beautiful. This thing's gorgeous. It's got a great keyboard, great trackpad. They brought back a lot of features that a lot of people were missing and they wanted back. You know, the MagSafe connector, the Thunderbolt ports, all those things are fantastic add-ons. Now we get 17 hours of battery life uh, with this model. And this is, like I said, the base model. You can make this thing super, super powerful, way beyond what I need it for, but that is going to drive up the price tag significantly. So keep that in mind. However, I do love editing on a Mac. I love creating videos on a Mac. Um, everything is just seamless. And if you use multiple devices like I do with the phone and the watch and the iPads and everything else that Apple has out there, it's really well integrated. It works great together and the ecosystem is wonderful. So stay tuned for the next one. We're going to do a, another video based off of just using the MacBook Pro for a while. And we will be back with that, guys. So stay tuned. Like I said, hit the subscribe button. Later, guys.